Hello, it's Parm King, the DM for Legends of Barovia, and I have a more technical Dungeon Master tip for you today. If you're using Foundry, which is an amazing platform for virtual tabletop role-playing, and you want to load up some maybe MP4 videos for your players, whether you're hosting it yourself or you're hosting it on Forge, that's a pretty big file, especially if people are going to have to pull that bandwidth. You know, there's a lot of bandwidth that's going to be used. Not to mention if you're using Forge like myself, which is a cloud-based server for your games, it's just going to take up a lot of space. Now, I'm going to show you today really simply how I can continue to use those great MP4 video backgrounds and files that I use in my game, but kind of crush it down a little bit so it's less of a bandwidth issue for my players and it uses up less space on Forge. The first thing I'm going to show you is my folder over here which has some video, MP4 videos, that I downloaded from James RPG Art. I'll put a link down below. James RPG Art does some phenomenal video backgrounds, MP4 backgrounds for Curse of Strahd. And we're going to take one of these and we're going to shrink it down. I have one here called the carriage. And if we look at the properties of the black carriage, you can see it's 15.9 megabit. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but two things. It's going to take up extra room on the, uh, the Forge server, and it's going to also use up additional bandwidth for my players. Now, if you're self-hosting, it's going to be even more difficult, I would guess, on uh, load on your computer. Now, let's just take a look at it really quick before we start. So here we have this great scene. There's a little bit of fog, the lights flickering, the horse... Horses, there's a little steam coming out of the horse's nose. Now, I want to take this video, and I want to keep it MP4 format, but I want to shrink it down. Well, I found a great free application, um, and it's called Any MP4 Video Converter Ultimate. Now, this is the unregistered version, so it really kind of limits the amount of, of uh, time that you can do. I can only do five-minute MP4s, but you can go ahead and upgrade this. It also allows you to... Uh, convert mp4s to mp3s so for instance if you see some great music on uh, YouTube and you download it you want to use it in your game you're gonna be downloading an mp4 you can convert that to mp3 with this file but right now we're going to just shrink down an mp4 file make it a little smaller and a little bit more manageable for forge and our players the first thing I'm going to do is just click this big thing in the center and it's going to bring up my menu I'm going to click in the black carriage, open that up in here, and you're going to see right now it's got it loaded up in here. It shows it's a 15.9 megabyte file. It's one minute long. It's high resolution. We're going to shrink this down to 720. And so the first thing I do is I'm going to click over here where it says MP3, and I'm going to select video. It's going to bring up this menu. I'm going to select video, and I'm going to scroll down to HD 720. The next thing I'm going to do is click this little crunchy looking thing it's gonna this is like icon means compress video actually if you highlight over it it says compress video so i want to compress it and right now it's going to only compress down to 720 to 14 meg but i want to compress it down to about eight or seven about halfway now we can take a quick preview of this because we want to see if it's going to degrade the the you know the video a little bit um let's take a look at the preview it's converting, doing a pre-conversion of only 10 seconds. And it still doesn't look too bad. You can see that it's not that high quality, but if we're gonna be playing uh, online and this is just gonna be a background scene, it looks fairly decent here. So there's the, the sample. Let me just close that down here. I don't know how, oh, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and save it. So we're gonna be taking a 15.9 megabyte file converting it to 720 from 1080p to 7.6. Now, I'm doing this, again, for two reasons. Save some storage on my Forge space. I've already used up 20% in my Curse of Strahd. These video files take up a lot of space. The second thing is kind of give my players a little bit of relief on the bandwidth. We don't want them sitting around waiting to load up big maps. I did that one time. I had like a 40 meg file, and it took like a couple of minutes. And some of my players that are on slower bandwidth it took quite a bit longer. So let's go ahead and save this and convert. You're going to say continue with free trial in the lower right-hand co column. 
and it's going to convert this. Now remember, the free edition can only convert up to five minutes of video or five minutes of audio, but for my needs, this is perfect. It's a great software package. You can go ahead and upgrade it, so if you want to do a longer video, uh, it works pretty well. It's going to store it in the same source folder, and you can see here now it's converted it. Let's go ahead and close this down and take a look at, so now I have the original one here, I have the second one. Let's just click on this and see what it looks like. Well, it actually looks really good for 720p, the fog, everything. So I haven't lost really any video quality, nothing that I can really notice. I mean, unless I'm running some big screen, high definition thing. But again, this is going to be in within Foundry on the Forge system. So that's just a quick uh, tip using this application. The application again is called, let me get it over here, Any MP4 Video Converter Ultimate. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description below. I hope this helps you out. If, you do, if it did or you think this is valuable, go ahead and click like and su subscribe to uh, my video. If you have any other suggestions or how you compress your video, your MP4 videos down, please go ahead and link a description down below. Thanks very much. This is Parm King signing off. May all your rolls be critical 20s, not critical 1s. And if you do roll a critical 1, you should be rolling on those crit failure tables. I know I'm going to take a lot of flack from that. I already have. Uh, I actually made a video on critical failure tables, which I'll go ahead and link in the description below. Until next time, adios.